Good morning, everyone. It's another day, another mail video. It's morning. I got to go to work here in a couple minutes, but first I thought I'd open some packages that I got because one of them is pretty relevant for today, specifically for the brand new episode of Getting It Out podcast that was released this morning with John Gallagher of New Wave of British Heavy Metal Legends, Raven. They're out on tour right now through the U.S. They'll actually be in York, Pennsylvania this Saturday, October 22nd, if you want tickets. If you'd like to be entered in a drawing for two tickets, send me a message. Let me know. I know I realize this is very specific to a certain locale, my locale, but uh, I got tickets. If you want a pair, let me know. I'll put your name in the hat. We'll pick one by Friday. If you win, I'll let you know. If I don't let you know, you didn't win shit. Okay? So, that's what's going on. Raven. With Riot Act, by the way. If, Riot, if, if you don't like Riot, you can go to hell. Um, let's see. Do I have a, I think I have a Riot record right here. Where is it? Just sit here while I while I look through this. Records are alphabetized for a reason, right? Yeah, right beside Olivia Rodrigo, we got Riot. Not the classic, not the THE Riot record, but a good Riot record. That band, they're playing uh, Riot songs are called Riot Act. Um, Anthrophobia and Beneath the Martyr, maybe, are the local openers. But anyway, if you can't win the tickets, at least go to the show. So, that's what's happening. But anyway, let's open some mail. Let's go with... Yeah, this one. And it says right where it's from, right on the top. And it says it right on my shirt, too. This is the Gimme Metal uh, Vinyl Club release for... What month are we in? October? So I'm going to say it's October. I lose track a little bit. That's some solid perforation on that mailer. Way to go. You don't get that very often. If I get that on the next one, it's going to be a good day. I forget which one this is. They do a great job of announcing what they are. They do cool videos and uh, they tease you a little bit. And I'm excited because I'm always excited for these things because they always pick records I don't have. And uh, they always pick good ones too. Yet to be a stinker. Let's see what we got this time. And we got, oh, we got an extra. Always love a good extra. A gimme metal koozie. Perfect for the beers I'm not drinking right now because I'm doing Sober October, but we're more than halfway there, right? Yeah, more than halfway there. Living on a prayer, Bon Jovi and all that. Got a packing slip. Don't need that because I never have to return what's in these boxes. Oh! Orange Goblin, the big black. This bad boy is on, I believe, like a fluorescent green vinyl. Let's get into this thing because I saw the, the images looked pretty cool uh, that they posted. You very carefully cut into here. Does that make anybody nervous? I feel good about it. So don't worry. Uh, I should have been a surgeon. I don't know what type of surgery. I don't know how the people who are into uh, people who are into doing surgeries get into that because it seems like a really disgusting job. I kind of have to hold back the vomits when I open the dishwasher and get that weird dishwasher smell here and there. So I can't imagine cutting into a body. What's that smell like? Gotta be pretty bad. I know what the outside of my body smells like and I can't imagine the inside is any better. Yuck. Um, anyway, here, okay, so nice gatefold. Nice, thick. I like them thick. Double LP. See, that's a deal, baby. This is a deal, deal and a half on, uh, whoa, it's sparkly too. I don't know if you can see that on on the camera, on the, uh, but it's got little flecks of sparkles in there, silver sparkles. That's cool as hell, even that label's cool. Rise Above Records has put out so many classics, this being one of them. Awesome, awesome big picture of the guys. If you're not familiar with these guys, it's like a stoner rock from, from the UK. Remember I've said that before, the UK is just like a place, it's a country, but I say it like it's a city. Nice lyric sheet. This is a solid, a solid, solid package. Anytime you get a double LP out of these things, that's a deal, baby. Deal and a half. Thank you to Gimme Metal for the latest addition to the Vinyl Club. A solid, solid, solid release. Now, what else do we got going on here? Well, it's today's podcast episode. I know it because I, uh, I have a... I have an inclination that I know what this is. Inclination, by the way, I have a record coming out this week. Unaltered Perspective. Not the best 
straight edge hardcore there is right now. So look for that on Friday. That's a free plug, Pure Noise Records. I'll take a check. Or just a record. Send me that. Here we go. This one. Raven. Wipe out. This is what they're playing on the tour right now. If you catch them on tour, they'll be playing this record in its entirety. Uh, it's from uh, 82, maybe? I don't know. It doesn't say on here, but I'm going to say 82. Yes, yeah, originally released 1982. Got this. Uh, people, what do they call this? The Obi strip? Um, I don't call it anything. I call it, uh, I'm going to put it inside the jacket and forget it's there, but it's a nice little touch. Let's see what this one looks like. Again, surgeon-like precision. Steadiest hand in the house. That's totally not true. Uh, I couldn't, I, I don't know. I, I, that's why I can't hold the camera. I use a camera stand, a phone stand, to hold the camera to take these little videos. I guess I didn't have to open it up because it says exactly what the color is right here, but let's let's take a look at this orange and blue smoke colored vinyl. What does blue smoke look like? Huh? I think that's white smoke with a blue light behind it. This is licensed from Neat Records. Okay, that's blue smoke. I see what you're saying. I don't see any orange, but I am pretty colorblind, but that looks cool as hell. Yeah, Raven. Wiped out on tour now on Getting It Out podcast. Now, I released that episode today with John Gallagher, so please go download that. If you're having trouble keeping up, that's my fifth episode in just over a week. So, uh, keeping plenty of content out there. And uh, I'm happy that you're happy. I'm probably happy that you're unhappy, too. It depends what your complaint is. I got a complaint about the Philadelphia 76ers last night. I know it was opening night, but come on, guys. We can do better than this. Come on, Joel. Get down in that post. What are you shooting six threes for? I, I'm not that old guy that thinks you shouldn't shoot threes. I just think six is a little excessive. Give me three. Three threes. If you make two, shoot a fourth. If you make one, let's call it a day with the three-pointers and get back down in the post and be a big man. You're seven foot tall. You be a big man today. How about that? Or a big woman. Just is that, That's different, right? When you say big man, people might take that as a compliment. But you say big woman, people are like, hey, man, that's fucked up. I don't know. It depends how you mean it. So go ahead, big man, big woman. Be both of them. That's what people do these days anyway. Be all of them. Be big non-binary. Just, you know. Do we do non-binary fronted hardcore now? We used to do female fronted hardcore. Female fronted any band. Do we do non-binary fronted? Are we saying that? Should we not be saying that? I don't know. You tell me. In the comments below, answer my questions. That's it.